we're trying to simulate uh, part of the aspect of that grab and opening in Grindavik, all right, but that's a small aspect of the overall processes that are in place. But let's have a look at the sandbox. So as the pressure builds and we separate, you can see fractures forming on that surface. And we see now this great big block of uh, rock almost intact down the central portion. As we continue, you can see uh, that block uh, starts to break apart. So that is simulating what is actually happening in Grindavik. Now the volcanic eruptions they are happening along these long fissures and those fissures are openings down into the magma source along what we would call as a geologist dikes that are forming underground and that's the area where the magma flows underground and then extrudes up to the surface and spreads out. What's happening in the mid-Atlantic Ridge is similar to what uh, we see in Raycan Peninsula in Iceland so that mid-Atlantic ridge has been opening on a regular basis. It opens in segments. So in Iceland, we see a segment opening up. And it's not completely opening right across the peninsula, but in different locations. And each time it opens, we see fractures, we see lava flowing out and making new rocks on the surface. And actually, if we look at the polarization, of the minerals that are locked into this new rock that's formed, we can actually trace back, and you can see on the visual on the screen here, uh, lots of uh, different uh, episodes that are marked with different colors, marking the change in the orientation of the magnetic polarization. So the minerals align with the North Pole wherever it's located at that time. So that helps us understand that this process is ongoing, it's regular happening, and we've just seen a small glimpse in time in the Raycan Peninsula of what's actually happening. And so let's try to simulate in the sandbox now that sort of gradual opening, and I'm going to fill in the cracks that form with new sand, which will simulate the new lava that is uh, making rock. So I'm going to wet the surface here. That's going to form a little bit of a crust on the surface of the earth here. We're just increasing the cohesion of the sand on the very surface, and that's gonna help form some nice cracks. All right, so here we go. And we're gonna open it up slowly. So now we see we've got a split. We've got that graben forming again, uh, down thrusted uh, location. We've created some volume and the ground has sunk down. Now, it doesn't always happen in the same places in Iceland, but generally speaking, that's the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Let's assume that's the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, and we have lava extruded in this new area, forming a ridge. Imagine thousands of years have passed. And so we have different magnetic polarization here as to the central portion. If we open this again, these uh, existing faults probably be reactivated and we'll hopefully also see new ridges forming, okay? So that central part, that new rock is also cracking and opening and we have a lot uh, of different fractures. Some of the existing fractures reopen again. And so if we continue to repeat that process, so we fill this in, this is the new lava. And we're not capturing all of the dynamics of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge uh, spreading center and all the magmatic activity and so on and the faulting. It's just trying to simulate and help uh, the audience help you appreciate what's, what's happening, all right? So obviously the real world is a lot more complicated, but I hope you get this idea that we've created this new rock here, new lava formed and it's hardened up, it's crystallized again, and that spreading center just continues. We get a new surge of magma opening up the fractures, opening uh, and extruding out onto the surface, and we'll see it open up again. So we see a new ridge forming. So we've split that uh, most recent rock into a new strip, and we have an opening in the middle, and that process repeats itself over and over again. So we have new lava extruded, 
our simulation of that hardening up by spraying the water on it. And let's see it happen one more time. And we have continued opening. Um, if not, in the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, we'd probably get even more spreading and staying in contact with the outer edge. That's a limitation of our sandbox here. But you kind of get the idea that we have older rocks further away from the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, and we have new rocks in the middle that new lava extruded onto the surface of the Earth in Iceland or under uh, the ocean on the oceanic crust. And then that area continues to split open and new lava extrude. And that as it uh, hardens up, the, uh, that paleomagnetic orientation locked in to the new minerals that are formed. And so we can trace that back with time and we can see that's been happening all along the Mid-Atlantic Ridge all the way to uh, Europe and Africa and North and South America. So I hope that helps you understand a spreading center uh, and that's related to the activity in Iceland.